want to show you another way that we can break numbers up. We learned that we could break numbers up like this, right? They were just in a line. But I want us to look at them all spread out on this plate. All right, I have four cubes right here. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four. This is my whole. Can you say whole? Whole. Now up here, I have two parts. Part. Do it like this. Part, part, whole. Can you do that? Part, part, whole. Okay, so I have four cubes. Let's pretend they are cupcakes or muffins. Let's do muffins. I have four muffins down here, and I am going to share them into two different groups. So I could go one over here, one over here, one over here, one over here. Oh. Instead of a big four, now I have two and two. But they're still four altogether. My number of cubes didn't change. I just split them apart into different groups. Two and two make four. Hmm. Can I break four apart into a different way? What happens if I put one muffin up here and the rest over here? What kind of groups do I have? One and one, two, three. So this would be one muffin over here and three muffins over here. Which one has more? This person has more. The one with three muffins. Even though they're not even, that doesn't mean that it's not the same number. So four can be two and two, or four can be one and three. One and three make four. There's another way we can do four. We could do, what if someone took all the muffins up here? <gasps> four and zero. Which one would you rather have? I'd rather have four than zero. Four and zero makes four. This is how you can split a number into two smaller groups. Part, part, whole.